Hey guys, if it isn't obvious by the title and the fact that I'm sitting here with my suitcase, I wanted to share some vacation packing tips with you. Now the first thing that we need to do, I'm sure you know, is write a list. There are plenty of printables um, available. You can just do a Google search and find something um, that is similar to the things that you like to pack and just use that. You can have a master copy that you save on your computer and just print it off. I personally like to just write a list every time I go on vacation. And the reason for that is because what I bring is always changing so when my kids were younger there were things that I would bring um, versus what I bring now um, sometimes it's just my husband and I sometimes we're going somewhere warm sometimes we're going somewhere cooler and it's just always changing um, and I also feel like by just writing each thing down it really helps me to remember and have it fresh in my mind so that's just what I do um, one note on writing a list I would be very specific and what I mean by that so instead of just writing toiletries or beauty products write down each thing that you need to pack so eye makeup remover, toner, uh, face cream, hand cream, whatever you use, just be very specific. I highly recommend um, getting these for your shampoo and conditioner and things like that because um, shampoo and conditioner and all of that, it takes up a lot of room if you are trying to bring the full bottle and you don't need it. And also if you're flying, it really adds a lot of weight. Now when you do um, purchase these bottles, if you plan to keep them in your carry-on, obviously make sure that they are the correct size. Um, this bottle is actually four ounces, which would be too much to uh, put it in a carry-on, but I kept mine in my suitcase. I would definitely label them and it doesn't have to be anything fancy um, But the reason for that um, Which you might have guessed is your your conditioner and your lotion are going to look the same once they're in the bottle And that will just keep it simple. I also would highly recommend when you get home to use up whatever you have left in this bottle. Um, so if you have shampoo, conditioner, lotion, um, whatever that you've poured in here, I would just stick it in your shower and use it until it's empty. It's going to expire and you don't want to take it out you know, a year later when you go on your next vacation and go to use it and it's expired and it would just be wasteful. And then as far as lotion goes, I had this smaller bottle and I just refilled it so that I didn't have to take this larger one that would take up more room and way more. So I bought this this year and I absolutely love this. I found this at TJ Maxx, but they do have them at Target and other places. And this um, opens up and it has all these bags for your toiletries and makeup and everything. And you've probably seen these, but I love this thing. I was able to fit so much in here. It folds up neatly and you can just stick it right in your suitcase so you don't have, you know, a bunch of random bags in there with toiletries. And it also has a little hook so you can hang it. These two are removable, so if you want to put your makeup in one or your stuff that you need to get ready in the shower in the other, something like that, you can do that and they're removable. Um, so it's very very nice to just you know have this thing um, this was about $20 at uh, TJ Maxx but they had some at Target which were around 30 another thing that I have found to be very helpful when I'm packing is to try my outfits on a lot of us like to shop for a few new outfits for vacation and we might think that certain accessories are going to look really cute or certain shoes, you know, when we combine it all together and we'll just pack it all and then, you know, we get ready to wear it and realize it doesn't look as cool cute as we thought it was going to look. So I would highly recommend if you have a new outfit, try everything on together, your accessories, shoes, and everything. Um, I like to lay my outfits out on my bed, so my whole bed will be covered with all the outfits I want to take. I will go ahead and pick out the jewelry, um, or if I just tried it all on together, I'll just lay it all out, and then I will get the shoes out that I plan to wear with it. And be sure to remember things Things like camis that you need to wear under see-through tops so I had this maxi dress and I needed to remember to pack a strapless bra um, if I have a
have a dress that I need to wear a slip under, things like that. So it really helps to just um, lay your outfits out. You'll have all of the accessories that you want and the shoes that you want and everything. Now with that being said, one thing to keep in mind is try to pick out clothes that you can mix and match. Shorts that you can wear, you know, a couple different tops with. Accessories that can go with a couple different outfits. Shoes are really hard for me. Um, I had to really cut back on the shoes that I was going to bring. Um, but, you know, I had to be realistic and realize I'm not going to wear all of the shoes that I wanted to bring. So just find some um, neutral shoes that you can wear with a lot of different outfits and then maybe have one or two pair that you really want to bring. Another thing to keep in mind when you're picking out your outfits is look at the weather where you're going to be. I can't tell you how many people I saw in San Francisco in shorts and tank tops when it was cold and really windy and you really needed to be wearing a sweater and jeans. <laughs> um, probably because, you know, maybe they thought California is sunny and warm. And it is in Southern California, but in San Francisco it wasn't always warm. So just make sure to check the weather and definitely pack, you know, a pair of pants or jeans and, you know, a sweater or things like that. So you aren't, you know, freezing when it's not as warm as you thought it was going to be. You might have seen this already on Pinterest. I've seen it floating around. But a great way to pack your shoes is to use shower caps. And you can get um, like 8 or 10 in a pack at the Dollar Tree. And you can definitely reuse them. But this just helps. You can, you know, put them in there and, you know, slide them in around the edges of your suitcase. And that way they aren't going to get your clothes dirty. So it's a great way to keep your shoes in your suitcase. For my jewelry and accessories, I actually use these pouches, and I love these because they fold up nice and small, and um, everything's right in here, and I've never had a problem with, you know, losing anything or breaking anything, and they have these little pouches along the side all the way around, so you can put your earrings or rings or whatever in there and then when you open it up there's plenty of room in the center and you can put your bracelets or necklaces or whatever. Now if you are going to bring a lot of accessories you might want to put your necklaces in a separate bag or whatever. Um, I have three so I can use a couple if I need to. I saw this tip on Pinterest and I haven't used it yet um, and I don't have a straw to show you and you might have seen it floating around but they had a bendable straw and then just um, you know close their necklace around it so that it wasn't getting all tangled and that's a great tip I don't have a straw to show you um, but you could definitely find that on Pinterest I'm sure. Now as far as packing the suitcase goes, you've probably seen several different ways. I have tried the rolling method and I have tried laying everything flat. And I will say that rolling them is nice because you'll be able to find everything easier, but I have found that you still have to stack it so sometimes you have to search underneath things. But I really like laying everything flat because you can fit so much more in your suitcase and things don't get as wrinkled. So I just used my beach towel to kind of show, for example, um, you know, I rolled it up. It's pretty tight, but it still takes up quite a bit of room. I have an enormous suitcase, so it might not look like it, um, but it still takes up a lot of room. What I usually do now is just lay it flat on the bottom, and then I start to layer my clothes on top. So I have my beach towel on the bottom to protect, you know, my clothes from getting dirty or anything. I do vacuum out my suitcase a little bit, but just in case. And then I just laid everything flat. And I am telling you, you can fit so much this way. I would just, you know, keep layering my clothes and then I would um, stick these shoes around the edges. Also, um, as far as things like pajamas and things that you want to be able to find right away, I will roll those and kind of stick those along the side. I just use um, this zipper area here for my undergarments and that way they're nice and neat and not getting, you know, twisted up with my clothes and things like that. So that is basically all I do. You might have noticed this on the handle of my suitcase. Um, you can purchase different things to kind of distinguish your suitcase 
case from others but I used this scarf and I just kind of wrapped it around because I knew no one was going to have this exact same one because I've seen you know red pom-poms but other people have them and I just had that so I tied that on there I knew when my suitcase was coming um, that that was definitely mine and of course always check the tag I wanted to share a tip that I learned years ago when my boys went to camp that will really help you and packing your kids up for camp and this is also great if you um, want to make things a little easier if you're on a family vacation and you know want them to get dressed on their own um, I learned this from another mom and she said to put everything for an outfit in a bag and just stack them together so I just have my clothes here because my boys are older but um just your shirt, your shorts, um, you would put underwear and anything you needed for an outfit, socks and whatever. And that way if your kids are off at camp, um, they will at least match and um, you know they won't be rummaging through their suitcase trying to find socks and things like that and it keeps it a little neater a little easier for your kids so you could just um, put everything right in the bag if you don't have any bags like this you could use a Ziploc bag and I know they make larger ones than this and then just reuse them um, it works really well for kids especially girls with their hair accessories and things and just put it all together in one bag stack it up in in their suitcase and they're good to go when they need to get dressed. I also wanted to share a few things that I think are really helpful to bring along on a trip. I like to bring these Shout Wipes. Um, this is really helpful, especially if you can't do laundry, if you're staying in a hotel and you get a stain, and that way um, you can at least pre-treat your stain, that way you won't ruin an item of clothing. Another thing that I like to bring is a small fan, and I do this because sometimes it's hard for me to fall asleep in a um, place that isn't my own bed. Um, this really helps me because it's a nice steady noise and sometimes hotels have white noise machines and there are apps on your phone that you can get and I've tried to use those and they are never loud enough but this is a nice steady noise it doesn't take up that much room so I actually keep this in my suitcase so that I don't forget it because it's really hard for me to fall asleep if it's really quiet or there are strange noises that I'm not used to um, so that will definitely help with your sleep Another thing that I bring is our Brita filter when we're staying in a condo and that way we can have our filtered water and we don't waste a lot of money on buying water bottles and things like that. When we were at our when we were on our last vacation, um, we stayed in a hotel so we didn't bring our Brita filter and plus we flew and there's not a lot of room for things like that. But um, we purchased these water bottles. This is Bobble brand and they have their own individual filter in there so you just fill it up and as you drink it it has to go through this filter so um, that just saved a little money and that way we could have water that tasted a little bit better many of you probably don't leave home without your earbuds but I just wanted to include these um, when I was flying the last time they had some movies that you could watch on the plane that were free but you had to use either your own earbuds or purchase them so it's nice to just have your own be sure to pack those in your purse or carry-on so that you can access those easily also be sure to really look through your purse or your computer bag and make sure there is nothing in your bag that will not be allowed on the airplane because you might forget that you have you know manicure scissors and a manicure set in your purse or some lotion that's um, too many ounces to go on a plane or something like that so just be sure to really look through and make sure you have none of those things and that way you won't be held up in the security line Another tip, if you are having a hard time keeping the weight of your suitcase down, so if you're you know, packing for a longer trip, you can definitely pack your shoes in your carry-on bag if you don't need it for anything else. I didn't really use my carry-on, I just brought it because I was able to without any extra charge. And um, they usually don't weigh it, it just has to be a specific size. So I put my heavier things in there like my uh, tennis shoes, my wedge uh, sandals that I just had to have. These things weigh a little bit more so you can easily put those in your carry-on to save on the weight in your suitcase. And the last tip I have for you, I actually included in the other video that I did on budgeting for a vacation, but I'll include it in here because it does have to do with packing. Be sure to weigh your suitcase if you 
are going to get charged if your suitcase weighs more than 50 pounds. And what I usually do is step on the scale and get an exact weight of myself, and then I hold my suitcase so I know if it is more than 50 pounds that I need to take some things out. And this really helps because sometimes they will charge you up to $100 if your suitcase is over the 50 pound mark. So um, that's just a way to you know, check in advance. You're not trying to take stuff out of your suitcase at the airport and hand it to whoever, you know, is dropping you off and it will just really eliminate the stress and it will save you money. So I hope you found these tips helpful. If you have any tips that you could recommend, please leave them in the comments below. I love to hear others' tips and I have learned a lot from you guys as well. So thank you so much for watching.